What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, White Boy 7 Street, and welcome to some Star Wars Battlefront gameplay. We are going to be playing a new game type, Heroes vs. Villain, and this game type is absolutely insane. I love it. It is the most fun to play, in my opinion. If you guys don't know how it works, it's 6 on 6, and it's Team Heroes vs. Team Villains. It's Luke, Leia, and my bae. Han Solo and three foot soldiers versus Darth Vader, Emperor Poppleteen, and Boba Fett and three stormtroopers. So if you haven't seen Boba Fett up close and personal, he is absolutely insane. He has a flamethrower. He can jetpack up, up, and away, and an RPG. Check out the video I made. I'm gonna include a link in the description down below. See all of his gameplay in that video. He is really cool. But Leia. I'm going to show off some of her abilities in this video and also Han Solo. We already know what Luke does. So Leia's more of a support character. As you see, I just dropped a shield and a hero health pickup, which I should have gave to Luke. I think I had 90% health and I picked it up. And I can also drop power-ups like the one right to my right, that's frosted, frozen snowflake. I can drop power-ups for the foot soldiers as well as I take out the Emperor right there to win the round so how this game type works it's six on six like I said and one round you become a hero and the other round you alternate and become a foot soldier like I am right now and you are very powerful as a foot soldier and you play to the first team to pick up five wins and that's how you win the entire game so right here I'm gonna pick up an orbital strike and get very lucky but as a foot soldier, you can do a lot of damage versus heroes. It seems like the heroes and villains are mostly engaged with each other and they don't really find, pay too much attention to you. So you can really uh, destroy villains, especially like Darth Vader and the Emperor because they're mostly close combat. And I just got the orbital strike and get very lucky. Take a look at the amount of points I'm about to get right here so hero wounded hero wounded hero wounded one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i'm gonna take out a hero top player killed another hero defeated i got a kill with my laser beam and then boba fett drops right there so i took out two heroes with that orbital strike guys if you're playing this game type you are very powerful as a foot soldier if you pick up the power-ups right now i'm 4-0 i'm princess leia again i really wish that since there's kind of three rounds almost guaranteed that I would be both Leia, Han Solo, and Luke Skywalker, but it doesn't seem to work out that way. You can also melee as Princess Leia, and I think a tip that I can give you guys, especially right away, I don't pay too much attention to Princess Leia. I think she's more of a weak character just because I have this notion in my mind that she doesn't have the force and she's always being protected in the star wars films but as you can see she can zap that guy one shot right there there are two uh, villains right behind my booty i drop a shield get out of there do a hero health pick up pick up uh, 20 percent more health that's very valuable and uh someone distracts him i distract him and then the orbital strike drops i try to go to melee darth vader i'm not scared I still got 82% health and he was swiping his lightsaber at me and he, he's not that powerful. I think people don't expect Leia to be aggressive and to do damage and I'm doing that just like right now. So uh, keep that in mind if you're playing as Princess Leia. If you guys want to see Han Solo, I'm going to play one more round as a foot soldier and then switch over to my man Han Solo. Absolutely incredible. But I want to ask you guys a question and I hope you would honestly answer me in the comments down below i'm looking forward to everybody's answer do you guys like star wars because i'm kind of conflicted black ops 3 just came out i really like black ops 3 but i also really like star wars battlefront and i don't know should i just give up on star wars and play black ops 3 exclusively and out of nowhere darth vader tears me a new one i drop down my turret and that doesn't do anything against Darth Vader. So please let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more Star Wars Battlefront, if you're liking it, and just give me an honest answer. And please, while you're at it, 
support my channel. It just takes two seconds for you guys to leave a like on my videos, and it helps a lot. So I got Boba Fett to my right, Darth Vader to my left, and I go straight up the middle, take out a Stormtrooper like it nothing. So yeah, guys, please give a few seconds out of your day to support me with a like rating. It does mean the world to me, and it goes a long way, and it means more than you know. So thank you, and... I died for the first time in that round, and I lose the round, so it's all bad, but I become Han Solo, and I'm going to show off his abilities. One of his abilities is going to be R1, and that's one that I'm going to be utilizing right out the gates, and it's just a simple dash. Excuse me, it's L1. I'm going to dash, just like that, just a little boost of speed. Now. His R1 ability, or I'm playing on Xbox, it's right bumper, I can charge up my laser beam and do a very powerful shot. Now, I'm not really sure what Y is. I think when I have Y active, oh, enemy was locking and I got out the way by dashing out the way. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I'm not really sure what Y does right now. I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's kind of like an auto aim or it increases your, your laser's ability. I'm not really sure, but... Let me show off RB. I'm going to take out Darth Vader. Or no, this is Palpatine right here. Boom! Right behind him. Execute him. It's a very powerful shot, and I like it a lot. And I'm going to utilize it actually uh, right here again to take out Boba Fett. So a pretty nice run right here uh, with some hero versus villain gameplay. Guys, please leave a like, like I said, and subscribe for some more Star Wars Battlefront gameplay in the future. I'm not going to show any more rounds because I lose. Bye.